Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 8. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Right, so today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Grand Tour. This starts at level 13. Um, so we have five events to do, and we're going to be. Oh, each one's got a different car. Nice. Right, so the first one we're going to be doing is this one with the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. I think that's how you say that. Let's go. Right, so we are here at Eager Norwand. We've got to do a time trial here for uh, 1 minute 17, 1 minute 19, and yeah. Right, let's do this. Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, go back onto a normal camera angle. Perfect. Nice. Very smooth around that first corner there. Second hairpin corner went very well. A little bit of a slide on the exit. Nice. through there. Nice. Got about 20 seconds to get back to the start line for gold. Also just lost silver. We came out of it with just a bronze. Ah oh, no. Alright, fair enough. That's decent. I'll take that for the first one. 18,000 credits. Right, let's move on to the second location. Moving on to Monza next. Right, so we are now here at the Monza circuit for a two-lap battle. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Attempt number four. Because the Ferraris keep spinning me out in the first corner. They're like a uh, pit maneuver here. Here we go, nice. Right, let's get past this F40 here. Contact through that section there. The F40 trying to sneak through on the inside. And there goes the Ferrari Enzo. Come on, out the way. The one problem with this game is cars will stick, they won't slide. So if you end up touching the side of a car, your car's going to stick to it. Right, so we've got six more cars to overtake in 
one and a half laps, I'd probably say. That was risky. There we go, nice. See, between loading times, I've been doing, um, because I've got a PSP em emulator on my phone now, so I've been playing, sort of between loading screens, I've been playing Gran Turismo PSP, and it's so much fun on the PSP as well. That's not going good. Getting ready to go on to the final straight now. Come on. Uh, I swear that's a 458 Italia up ahead. Yep, two of them. Both overtaken in one go. There's a third one up ahead, actually. Right, so we literally have to just overtake two more Ferraris. We've got this one up ahead now. Come on. Let's see if we can catch up with the end zone. Maybe not quite. Yeah, I don't think we're going to catch up with the Enzo this time. Come on, let's get around the corner. Nice. At least we came second, so that is decent. Where's the finish line? Here we go. Silver. Second place. Look at that. There's just one little white spot there at the top. Towards the top. 43,000 credits. Very nice. Right, on to the next one. Let's do this. So this car obviously has a lot of horsepower. And it is next to impossible to drive. Right, so we have lights on now. It is very slidey, very difficult to keep this under control. With over like 700 horsepower, 
And by the looks of it, there's also no form of traction control. I'd rather be driving that Kuntash. I'd probably do a better time anyways. Oh. Nice. Awesome. I've had to go in this view just for extra sort of reassurance into the corners. Because I'm much more confident driving like this. And also I wouldn't be able to see anything either. It's very dark. Right, we're in fourth at the moment. Let's see if we can get into third. I have a very slim chance though. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Still in fourth though. We're not getting any more positions. Perfect. Nice. What car is that up ahead? Right, last, last car is just up ahead, but I'm not sure where the end of the race is. That's the end of the race, there we go. Third place, we got bronze. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, on to the next round, 18,000 credits, very good. Uh, number four. Let's go.
Right, so we are here in Rome with the Lamborghini Miura. Let's give this a try. Oh, that engine. Go, go, go. Oh, there's contact there. Are we already in third place? Oh, it is one lap, though, isn't it? And we have to try and catch up with the Kuntaj as well. There we go. Late braking favours us. Nice. We are slipstreaming the Porsche at the moment, so hopefully we can do the same with it. Late break in favour of the Porsche. But we've just managed to overtake. Nice. I see the finish line coming up. There are cars trying to catch up behind. Let's see if we can them off, make sure they don't overtake us. Come on, the Miura can do it. Yes. First place. Let's get that gold trophy. Gold, gold, gold. Nice. Right, let's claim all of that. Let's see, how much money does that offer us then? 79,000 for getting. Wow. That's a lot of money. Right. Time to exit. Let's see um, whether we get any special rewards for completing all of them. I don't think we get one because we didn't get gold in everything, though. So, yeah. Roma. Nice bit of drum and bass there. It's always appreciated on this channel. We love drum and bass. Or oh, I love drum and bass. I don't know about you guys. Um, right. That is that done. Next up, obviously, is Sebastian Loeb. Loeb, however you want to say it. Um, which is at level 16. So we've got to wait for that. But while we're doing that, uh, let's go and take a look at the A spec. We're going to do some A spec for this one. Oh, we got the Grand Tour Trophy. Nice. Um, so I think next up should be Italian. I think that would be a good one to pick. So let's go grab an Italian. Right, so for this Italian event, I think what we're going to be going for is this Alfa Romeo Brera. Um, which is a very nice looking car. Um, I know this car I used to always use in uh, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Um, so we can go for black looks very good, but blue also looks nice as well. I think we're going to have to go blue because I've never seen this car in blue and it looks stunning in blue. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this and then we're going to put a couple of upgrades on it as well. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. Yes, I would love to use that car now. Nice. Right. Um, let's go put on some performance parts and then we will be uh, getting into the first race. Right. Tuning shop. I think first of all what we're going to put on is um, sports softs. Um, they're always a good option to have. There we go. Installation complete. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go through and just chuck on one of everything. So, stage one. Uh, ECU. We're going to 
need that. Um, I'm also going to chuck in some intake work. Nice. Um, and also, I think exhaust and turbo kit for this one. 297, perfect. 308, that's a lot of horsepower for this. Do we put in that turbo kit? So that's 331, 387. Oh, I do feel like 387 would be nice. It's done it. 387 brake horsepower. This car's not going to be able to control at all. Right, home. This car's going straight on my favourites list as well, because this is like a good car to have. Um, right, let's jump into GT Auto. We're going to take a look to see if there's any body modifications, because, I mean, with this much power, I think it's safe to say we need to put some aero parts on. Front looks absolutely pointless. Rear also looks absolutely pointless. Though, does it look... Nah. Uh, extension, there isn't any. And wing, well, we have to put a wing on at least. And there we go. Right. Updating the car data. Right, so our first event, I think, is going to be... I know one of them is in Rome. The other one, I'm not 100% sure. It might be Monza. Um, but let's go have a look. A spec. Amateur. And Italian Festival. Rome and London. Okay, let's go to Rome. Right, we are here in Rome. The total distance for this race is going to be six and a half miles. And here's our little Alfa Romeo Brera, which is looking very in place, but out of place at the same time. Oh! That boost of power off of the start line, though. We got a Lancia Stratos up above. Alright, let's squeeze past you. Nice. Very nice through that section there. Here we go, slowing down. Perfect. So this track is uh, quite long. We're going to be doing three laps, so let's do this. Perfect. Oh, very wide in that section there. And across the line onto lap number two, we got 132.738 for that lap. Um, this car actually has a interior, which is the first car that we bought in GT mode. That actually has an interior. Very nice. It's fully modeled and everything, so that is neato, pretty neat. Right, slow down here. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Slowing down there was very good.
place. Right, coming on to lap number three now. Awesome, 124.012 for that lap time. Brakes, nice and done. Perfect. Slow in, back onto the brakes. Nice. Oh, I was very close there. I did not like that corner one bit. Here we go, across the line, finish. What's that time overall? 420, ha <laughs> Right, on to the next one, which is gonna be London. 12,000 credits as well, nice. Right, we are here now in London, we're starting sixth on the grid in our Alfa Romeo Brera. I think that's how you say it. Uh, if it's not, I'm very sorry. But let's do this. Come on, little alpha. Go. Right. Oh. Not very good through the first corner there. What I want to do is I want to actually try interior for a little bit. Okay. I definitely prefer this view though. Whenever I play Gran Turismo. This is like the best view. It's like bonnet but not bonnet cam. Everyone wants to see the car though. Pass Sanyo sign onto lap number two. Perfect. One minute eleven point zero two two there. Nicely done. A couple of uh, square corners coming up. Got two of them. Square left. And then a square right just up here. Perfect. Nicely done. Uh, I think next episode we'll probably do uh, some more of the licenses, because I know the licenses are quite fun to do. Um, so next episode will be licenses probably, yeah. Oh, onto the brakes. Perfect. Bit of screen tearing going on with the PlayStation. 
which I never noticed before whenever playing Gran Turismo. But obviously, it's a little bit more apparent now when you're sort of more of a tech person. You sort of know what you're looking for. But that's it. That's the race done. Perfect. 103.282. We were 0 0.001 second faster than our second lap. On that last lap. Perfect. How much money did we get as well? Oh, 311,000. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.